Okay, so we with Kun, well, we with the second person that I'm interviewing today. So do y'all want to go ahead and, like, introduce yourself? Okay. I'm Karma. I'm 3 Scooter. Uh, Ron, 4K Visual. Okay. And y'all know me. I'm your host, Z. I got YouTube, too. Y'all should still subscribe to that. But um, so we got some musicians, and then we got camera people. So do you want to explain, like, like exactly down to the core of what you do? Go ahead, Steve. You right here. It's going in a row. Yeah. Okay, well, I sing and I write songs. Okay. No cocky thing. I do everything. Okay. Multi-talented. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do uh, camera work and photography. Okay. All right. So I got some questions. I'm going to try to make these. If this, I can't even get it out. I'm sorry. If these questions, if you could answer these questions and it pertains to you, please do. Okay. If you do not, then that's okay. My first question is, how long has music been a part of y'all? life well music been a part of my life uh since i was a kid my mom do poetry so okay you feel me my dad he listened to a lot of music he actually had somebody he did management with so okay yeah but i've been making music for two years though okay how about um, you i've been making music for two years too but i started when i was pretty young and i taught myself like instruments like guitar and piano and stuff okay so i felt like it helped growing up trying to get into the industry and stuff like that okay um, on the end, you could say, I guess, camera and, like, photography, like. Yeah, um, I've been doing it for about two years, too. So two years? Okay. I'm starting it out. Um, what inspires y'all to stay on that, like, with that? Um, I started making music because I felt nobody listened to me. Right. So, and I, I was antisocial, so right. not, that's why you don't know me. Right, because I, I don't remember I stayed you. with, like, headphones in to myself. I was antisocial. I talked to people, but you don't see me with a group of people. Right. And I just went home, and then I was feeling the type of way. Like, I went through a heartbreak, so I started making music. Right. And then from there, it's just like, people was like, yo, keep making music. And then I almost gave up. And then King came in the picture. was like, yo, la, la, la. Right. And then I started seeing it go up from there. And then I was like, hey. Then a lot of people started saying, yo, you, yo, da, 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 da. And you know me. I'm just humble with it. Right. So I was just like, okay. But you feel me? Everything's still eye-opening to me. I'm still learning. You feel me? Right. How about you? I agree. Um, I feel like I started making music just because I couldn't not. Like, I was, I had really bad ADHD, like, scooter. So, as, like, a kid, I would tap really, really hard on my pencils and stuff like that yeah. and get in trouble for it. But once I started picking up instruments, it kind of, I caught melodies and caught, you know, like, more structure to it so I could create art through through that. But, I mean, I just feel like I can't not, whether it's, like, without a track or a track. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Okay. How about you? What inspires you? Um, I think, I, well, at first I kind of like started off just because I like to be around and I like to be out and usually everywhere that I went, people was like, oh, I wish it was somebody to take pictures. I wish it was somebody to take videos. Right. So I, I wanted to be that person because I saw a road that needed to be filled and after a while it kind of just developed into what it is now. Right. Okay. So if y'all could collaborate with one person, what would y'all like? Who would you collaborate with? And that including like photography, if you know any photographers. R.P. Right? My man Juice, but mm -hmm. Juice. Juice. Yeah. Okay. How about you? Maybe Doja Cat. Doja, that would be fire. Mm, I think. So How about too. you? If you could collaborate with somebody, like to record their stuff or like. Oh, like an artist. Yeah, like an artist. Yeah. Uh, probably like Drake. Drake. Mm -hmm. I do Drake. Better. Not Champagne Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. All right. So what? Okay, where are you from, and how does it, like, affect your work? Or does it even affect your work? Well, I'm from Philly, so it it don't affect my work, yeah, like, but it kind of puts you in a box because yeah. you can't really think, like, you got to worry about your next move. But it also, like, when you get to the studio, you could talk about a lot of stuff that's around yeah. you. So it go hand in hand. Sometimes you might go to the studio and feel boxed in because something happened in the city you feel me yeah and that's how i go oh uh, i'm from delaware so i come from a city that really there's no music action like whatsoever right i know i'm the only female in delaware that was doing music or trying to make something out of music and i i feel like that's kind of like i mean at least for like philly i see like at least like today i saw so much support for like certain artists that are coming yeah. out of philly and i just like i want to give delaware a chance to uh have the same type of energy because I feel like it needs it. Right. A bit. So. How about you? Yeah, um, I'm from Philly, and um, I think 
I think the city is starting to try to help everybody. Help everybody helps each other, and everybody trying to like get each other leveled up and level up and level up. And I feel like when you're around people like that, then you can really get places. So I feel like that. Right. Yeah. I definitely agree with all y'all because I'm from South Carolina. And I don't know if y'all know anybody in South Carolina that's doing a bunch of different stuff that's multi-talented. So, hey, you met me. But <laughs> um, besides you, who would you say is your favorite rapper or favorite artist in whatever, you know, genre? R.I.P. my man Juice. Juice again, okay. <laughs> Like Scooter, was it? I think Three O Scooters. Okay. Probably my most like influential. Artist. Okay. How about you? I'm Got a favorite. I listen. I listen to Lil Uzi. Lil Uzi. Uzi. Yeah. He has, okay. Um, are you working on any projects right now? As in, like, uh, maybe photos or a song that, and when you do put it out into the public, do you think, like, how do you think people are gonna react to it? Uh, we got a song coming out called Crew World Friday. Okay. So it's really based on Ukraine because it's based on Ukraine, but it's also issues that me, I went through and other people go through, you right. feel me? So we got that coming out Friday. It's a video, clips of all the stuff that's happening in the world. So Okay. Something that's like um, mm-hmm. influential. Influential, yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. I don't even know. Y'all done hit every spot. If you weren't an artist or if you weren't doing what you're doing right now, what do you think you would have done? Um, so I would have went to school for welding. You know, welding make $25 an hour. Yeah. And I would have saved up and did real estate. Yeah. And then from there, I would have just been building real estate businesses, giving back to the community. That's one thing I want to do when, you feel me, when yeah, I get when there. You get up there. Get yeah. back to the community, people that don't have it like you do. Yeah. So, yeah. How about you? I probably would have went to, like, be a social worker, honestly, because I'm adopted. So I have yeah. I have siblings that still, like, I was adopted out of Philly, but I still have a ton of siblings that are still in Philly. And yeah. I, I, I speak to them because they're on my age, but it, I, I think that's probably what I would have done. Right. It's, it's hard to see, like, especially any child in the system, but, like, Especially when you know you can't do anything about it. Right. I would definitely went to school for it to help any child. Okay. What about you? Um, I always wanted to be a lawyer because I, I like to talk. And my mom said I always used to be finessing when I was a little kid. So right. I, I always wanted to be like a lawyer, you know, try to help people, beat the cases, all that. Y'all are extremely different from me because I've been doing the exact same thing since I was little. Yeah. The camera is my best friend. Okay, <laughs> what made camera, you start doing it? Yeah. What made me? Well... One, I think, I don't know, everybody don't know believe in this. Like, I know everybody not going to believe in this, but I personally think it's just because of, like, my Zodiac sign. I'm a Leo. I'm a Leo. So I I'm always just out. been doing it. I just always love the camera. Like, I'm always in front of a camera. Mrs. Taylor needs some. The person who put all this together, I'm here for it. Mm-hmm. Never been camera shy. Never been nervous in public speaking. I just, that's yeah, just been me. Yeah, I saw you directing downstairs. Yeah, I'm that's like, just oh. me. I'm not, not a real shy person. So I just feel like. It's just that. Well, what kind of leap? Are you in July or August? July. See, I'm an August. We're two different yeah, types. Yeah, very of different. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know, July and August are totally, totally different. different. August is a like a more of a out there mm-hmm. chaotic energy. Mm-hmm. July is more of a humble, calm. I'm just here type thing. But that's y'all cool. got anything y'all want to say that's inspirational for the people that's watching or might have something to relate to y'all? Man, keep chasing y'all dreams, man. Don't ever let no one tell you that you can't chase it. Say spread kindness. Kindness goes a really long way. Like you might save a life. You never know. Yeah, hard work always pays off. Yes. Keep working. Always. And um I also gotta say growth takes time. Do not let nobody try to say, girl, you only getting two likes because sooner or later they're gonna be tripping about how your two likes went to two million likes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So- let your growth sprout on its own. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next interview. Thank y'all. Uh, what's this called? Uh, Voices of Diamonds. Shout out to the Voices of Diamonds for having yeah. us. Three old scooter. Appreciate it, Karma. Okay. All right.